All right, this is Programming from Scratch, and this is the second video in the Angular unit testing series. After uh, recording the first video, I realized that it may not be very easy for everyone to see the text here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the text a little bit larger, and I'm going to switch to a uh, darker theme with a brighter text. Hopefully that'll make it easier to read. Uh, to do that, all we got to do is go to settings. Nope, not there. Settings, style configurator. And let's go with Obsidian. That looks good. And we'll go with a, a pretty decent font size. We have to enable global font for this to work. Or, sorry, enable global font size for this to work. That's definitely big enough. Let's take it down just a little bit. Okay. All right. So just in case not everyone could see, uh, all we really did last time was download Jasmine, you saw that, and then we created this specs file, or specs runner here, and we just deleted what they already had and included these files. There's the AngularJS files, AngularJS and Angular Mox.js, and then our app.js file. Then we included our tests, which is app underscore spec dot js. There is also our spec file with uh, the globals that we want recognized by JS length when we hook that up right there. We have our self-initializing function right here. We're using strict mode. We're describing our demo app. Before each test, we want to basically recognize the demo app. And then we only made one test, and that is that the demo app is at version 0 0.0.1. All right, and all of that is passing. I can probably make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Hopefully, anyone watching will be able to see this now. All right, so since this is going to be a little bit of a longer series, I've decided that I'd like to actually shoot to make a meaningful app. So uh, just because it's something that I've been wanting to make for a little while, I'm going to make a Kanban board app that will have uh, some of the Scrum components, uh, such as backboard or uh, backlogs. And uh, we'll start working on that today. I'm going to show you what I've got so far. Okay, I've got the notes here in Evernote pulled up. So the AngularJS unit testing application, uh, we're going to write an Agile Kanban application. Uh, and this, the immediate ideas that I had was a main backlog, an active tasks backlog that uh, contains tasks with enough information that we can actually work on them. And uh, it can pull tasks from the main backlog. Then the Kanban board, which will just contain tasks that we're currently working on and it can pull active tasks from the active task backlog and then a tomato timer uh, just so we can keep track of how long we've spent on each task i'm hoping to use that as a way to time uh, the different videos so what is a backlog it's a collection of tasks it looks like a file directory listing structures determined by the path contained in the tasks and it can pull from related backlogs such as uh, so the agile task backlog can pull from the main backlog and so on and so forth. You can make extra backlogs if you want to. And uh, then it can be removed if empty, uh, except for there always has to be at least one backlog. So let me actually go ahead and throw that in there. Always has to, to be at least one backlog. Okay. Uh, so since backlog is just a collection of tasks, what is a task? It's, uh, it has a name. It can be assigned to somebody. There's a flag saying whether the task is active or not. Uh, there are story points, uh, hours or whatever measurement you decide on. I'm not going to actually call them story points or hours or you know anything. I'll just I'll call them something more generic. Um, it has a path such as um, like it's this feature, this story this scenario and then that's the task um, can have a description uh, you could add attachments such as uh, UML diagrams balsamic sketches um, images just whatever you need for that task 
and then of course it could be deleted if it is obsolete or determined that it's just not something that we're going to put in the application. All right, so today we're going to focus on the backlog. Let's go ahead and minimize that. And now that we know what exactly it is that we're going to do, uh, we'll call this the um, Kanban app. Uh, da, da. Yeah, Kanban app. And if we save that and run our spec, then it fails because there is no Kanban app. So we go back to our app. And we'll just change this to Kanban app and save and hopefully that'll make all the tests pass and it does okay so the next thing is the directory structure i don't like the directory structure that i was starting with um, scripts is fine third party is fine specs is almost fine app and js are not fine so let's cut this out of here we'll go up a level the apps app is that we don't need the js file anymore folder anymore. Uh, scripts specs are going to be inside app. So now we have the app spec. And you know what, since it's right there, I'm just going to move it. And then we can get rid of the specs folder. Okay, which means that ooh, yes, and yes. And now they've been updated. But now that means that no specs were found. So I have to change our paths in here. We'll just change that to that and change that like that and hopefully everything works again okay great so now let's start working on our next feature so uh, we've got our version which is this and the things that we want to work on not that are the backlog so we can uh, well let's just grab these right here copy them and inside of our app we have a backlog and that's what we're describing all right so we have these things highlight all of them there we go all right so uh, for describing the backlog it has a collection of tasks it looks like file and directory listing. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to test that, but we'll go ahead and get the test in there and then we'll figure that out later. It um, So actually, because the next item pertains to the directory structure look of it, so we'll say describe um, path structure and then we'll say that that is actually just part of that all right um, so it uh, can pull from related backlogs It can be removed if empty. Ooh. And um, it cannot be 
removed if it is the only one. Okay. <clears throat> so this makes me think we we'll just get rid of this now. Oop, not quite that far. Get rid of that. So that makes me think. Oh, in Jasmine, you can say that you don't actually want to run a set of tests by putting an X in front of them. Oh, please, no, no, open, because we changed the location, we probably have to go and reopen them, so that was the, yeah, so we'll just do that, it's all in there, save it, and run it, and no, that's not, that's not right, all right, let's grab this, copy it, Close it, new, file, open, app, save. So if there's no specs found, is there an error? Does it not like that? Okay, well, let's see what we got. Nope. Any kind of problem here? Network problem, maybe. Doesn't look like it opened them all fine. Okay. App, app, scripts, app, UR, scripts, app, app spec, UR, scripts, app, app JS. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, well, let's get rid of all the X's. like that see what happens ah line 25 column 45 so line 25 ah spelled it wrong there we go so we can actually if we X right there then it shows up but it ignores it that's not where we want to X though. We want to X there. That doesn't feel quite right, does it? Okay. All right, so we need to give, say that that it, uh, exists for lack of a better test to actually perform here. So instead of a function, uh, 
we need to do an inject because this is angular and we want to inject our context. All right, and the things that we need to inject are there's a special way to get a controller from controller, just like that. And then we can say var control equals dollar sign controller dot oh, just like this and our controller so let's call this the backlogs ctrl and that's just uh angular's convention for getting a con or for naming a controller so if we run this i'm expecting where is the rest of the display? Seems that I've messed something up again. If I do that. Okay. And that. Okay, it doesn't like me Xing the describe, so we just won't X the describe. Okay, so we have seven specs, one failure, five pending specs. The pending specs are the ones that have the X's in front of them. All right, so this failed, and it failed because uh, backlogs control is not a function. It got undefined. So what we need to do is we need to create it as a function. We're going to pull this out into its own file in a little bit. So I'm going to put it in its own self-initializing function. But as usual, uh, use strict. But what we're going to do is angular dot module. And since we're not creating the module now, we don't have to do the um, comma and then the open braces. We can simply close it off right there and then say controller. And we're going to add a controller. We're going to call it the backlogs CTR, CTRL. All right, and then we are defining the function like so. All right, so that is the whole controller function. And when we refresh, now we can see that oh, okay, uh, exist has no expectations. Uh, we had a compile error. What we need to expect is expect that CTRL. Uh, to be defined, that's one, and we expect CTRL to be null, and that's a lie. What we want is for CTRL to not be null, and our third expectation is we expect CTRL um, to be Truthy, except I'm going to say that type of CTRL equals function. If all three of those are true, then CTRL should be good. And it's not true. We expected it to be, we expected false to be truthy. So if I say I expect type of CTRL to be function, what do we get? Object to be function. Okay, that, that works, that makes sense, right? It's a, um, it's defined as a regular object and not as a function for the purposes of Angular's use, which is fine by me. All right. And it looks like that is the end of today's video. Uh, we'll do more next time. And uh, keep watching.